Hello friends, today we're gonna learn about the publications in KTA V5. By using publications, we can use the element from one part to the another part by establishing the updatable link between the parts. The user can create a publication of wireframe features like point, line, planes, clouds, etc. It also creates publication of sketches, bodies, solid features like pad, hole, etc. It also creates a publication of sub-elements like faces, edges, vertices, etc. So let's understand the benefits of using publications one by one. The first one is it provides the better updatability of the link between the parts. To understand this, here we have two parts, part one and part two. The part one has two screw boxes and part two is the mating part in which you want to create the mating holes for the screw boxes. Then here to get the position of the holes into the part two, we need to use these attachment points on which the screw bosses are constructed. So first, I'll copy uh, the attachment point from part one to the part two and establish the link between them without publication. So now copy this and directly you can go here, right click, and press special as is the link. So now I have pasted the point from part one to the point part two and it's established the link between them. So you can see this green diamond mask on the element which represents this is linked element. Now the next thing I'm gonna create I'll activate this part uh, and activate work in define body 2 and here select this point select the hole and select the surface define a hole diameter as a 8.5 millimeter and click ok the first hole is created you can see that into the assembly as well the second hole i'm going to create with the publication so for that I have to create a publication so I'll maximize this part one. Now I want to publish this point two. So go to the tools, click on publications, select this point two. If you want to change the name here, you can change the name of the publication. So here I'll put ATT point one and underscore in between and you can click OK here so once you click OK it will ask you whether you want to change the name of this original element uh, or not if you keep yes here it will make this uh, publication name and this element name same if you click no only publication name will get renamed so here if I click no here now click OK so publication is created, tile vertically, copy this publication, paste pressure into the second part as result with the link format. Now here you can see the mask on the point we are copied. It is also the external link but it is like a publication mask on it. Now again in this part I will select this point, select the hole select the face and create the hole at that location so now i want to check the updatability of this part by moving these points forward into the y direction so i'll put here minus 10 and here also minus 10 now update this part one part one get updated the second you have to update this part two so what happened here 
the publication link is updated properly but the link which is really directly created which is not updated this is not synced yet to sync that you have to activate your part 2 and go to this edit links and here you can get these two links and here the first link is not synced so click on the synchronize now the part is get synchronized update it it will move so this both elements into the second part is updatable when the only the position of this parent element is get changed let's check what happens if we replace uh, these elements with the another elements into the part one here i got a new attachment points that is point three and point four so i want to replace point one with point three click ok and update your part again i want to replace point two with point four click ok here whenever you replacing any published point it will give a warning you are replacing the published point whether you want to go ahead or not so here i want to click ok or yes update the part now here you can see both screw bosses in the part one is updated to the new position but in the second part the holes are not get updated to the new position because still these two points are linked to the older attachment location so let's understand the linking here here when you directly copy paste element from one part to the another part there is a direct connection between element to element and when you use the publication so there is a linking between the element and the publication and the publication is getting linked to this this point so there is no direct linking between this element to the element the linking is through the publication now i want to change or update the location of the holes to the new one so in the first case there is no way to like update the location of the point if you want to update you have to copy this new position paste special again you have to repeat this process page special with this result with the link and then you have to replace this point one with the point two so you have to work with these both parts and then it will update to this new position now in the second one instead of going into the part two i can change that location uh, by using the publication into the part one only so i'll go to the tools and here click on the publications select the publication you want to replace the point so currently the publication is connected to the point two i need to like change that to the point four so i'll select here point four and here it will ask the question like do you want to replace the published element you can say yes here if you want to change the name of this publication uh, published element you can click yes here if you don't want you can click no so i'll click no here and click ok now update the part 2 and now you can see the hole is get updated to the new position so here if you use the publication it will help you to update the links easily within uh, working only within one part you don't need to like work with the both parts second thing is here most of the times you are like working with your opening only one part and here while working suppose i want to delete uh, a point so uh, accidentally deleted this point one and also i want to delete this point four so i just click on this point four so what happened here if you delete any published element it will give you a warning this element is used somewhere else uh, might be used somewhere else uh, into the another part do you want to delete that so here you can say no and you can uh, keep that 
linking align in the first uh, first point i deleted there is no warning nothing i don't know whether it is used or not now i we already know that is used into the second part so let's check the status there so go to the file and now you can see there is a link between the point one and point one is broken if you use the publication to create a link so you cannot delete the linked element accidentally we'll see few more benefits of using publication in the second part of this video if you like my videos please do share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching